Oh no, there's colors everywhere here. I don't know what to do with any of this stuff. There's paint, and brushes, and water that looks kind of dirty and weird. And magenta. What the heck is magenta? That sounds like a Star Wars character as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what to do with any of this stuff. It's so overwhelming. And it's... I want to... I want to... I to... Oh, King Lear, King Lear. It's okay, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Color mixing is really easy. I'll show you how. Just come on up, come on up, come on up, it's okay. Don't be afraid, it's, a, it's only color. I'll show you how to mix color, It'll, it won't be a big deal. And we're gonna learn about all the tools that we use to mix color, and then the paints that we use to mix color, and finally we're actually gonna do color mixing. First we're going to start out with the brushes. Round brush is good for kind of curvilinear marks and for filling in round areas of color. So you just think of round brush, round shape. Flat brushes are really good for angular marks and, and for filling in areas of color with real thick paint. So that's the flat brush. The filbert's really good. It, that's one of my favorites actually. It's, it's like a combination of a round and a flat. So you can get those, those same kind of chisely marks but you can also get the curly cue marks if you twist the brush around. And I want to show you the different types of bristles there are. There's a hog hair bristle brush, and the hog hair bristle brush is really good for underpainting. It's, it's almost specifically used for that, really, because if you try to use it for detail work, you'll get, you'll get really brush marky looking paintings. Synthetics, well, those are like the ones I just showed you as well. This is a nylon synthetic. That's really good for acrylic. And this is a synthetic blend. That's also good for acrylic. Um, and and they're, the reason that they're so good for acrylic is basically plastic goes well with plastic. That's a good way to remember it. This is a natural brush. This happens to be Kalinske Sable. They're usually a lot more expensive, but you get really high quality bristles from them. And they're used for oil and watercolor. Speaking of expensive brushes, we need to be careful about how we care for our brushes. So don't do this, because if you leave it in the water, the water will get into these ferrules, this metal part, and when it dries out, it cracks the wood, and since the wood cracks, the bristles come out. You don't want to do that with paint either. The best thing to use to mix paint and to pick up paint is a palette knife. And the reason that is is because you can fill it up with paint, it's not going to ruin it, it's all metal. You just put paint on it, scrape it off if you need to, can keep mixing. Mass tone is the paint that comes out of the tube. The undertone is what it looks like when you thin it out. Translucent paint is good for layering and you can make it opaque by adding white. But opaque paint is already very saturated so you can use it to build up if you want that color to dominate. I'm going to mix these two primaries to make green but you notice here these are the warm versions and these are the cool versions. So as I mix them, you'll notice how much difference it makes, which, what temperature color of primary you use. Excuse me. Looks a lot more kind of like a synthetic kind of green, like maybe something you'd see in a, on a costume or something. These are the two warm primaries. These are the two cool primaries to make green. And as you can see, their undertones are quite different. This is a translucent undertone, and this is more of an opaque undertone. Now what we have here are the primary colors with the warm and cool versions of each. Right here we've got ultramarine blue and phthalo blue. This is cadmium red, and here's naphthol red, cadmium yellow, and Hansa yellow. As I showed you before with the greens, temperature can make a huge difference. So King Lear, how do you feel about color now? Actually Dean, I'm a little more confused than ever before. But don't blame yourself. <laughs> That's okay King Lear. You can just watch the video again. Oh, oh no. Ah. <laughs>